I can see the face of the teacher that probably inspired me towards science. The earliest memory is probably when I was around, I would say like eight or nine years old. And I can remember that this little propellered plastic bottle just shooting down the corridor. And it was just like, whoa, this is awesome. And an invention. Actually, it was the teachers, Mr. Anderson. And uh, uh, he was amazing because he encouraged you whatever. There was nothing that you couldn't do. And even if he didn't know it, he would go, let's go and find out. He was like, come on, let's explore together. I always tell people that uh, being a curator is a bit like being a librarian, but instead of looking after books, I look after dead animals. I remember doing experiments at school with these really simple kind of circuit boards, sort of, uh, and that was amazing, you know, oh, I connect this, this, this lights up, this makes a noise. I was building a mini circuit, and I must have been about eight. That was brilliant. Science also is, is all about innovation. I think this is the best job in the world and, and um, I would encourage everybody to come and do what I do. I had no idea what an entomologist was when I was five. As a child, I would just stare at the ground and watch the ants, the woodlice, the spiders, everything coming along and doing it. And that's just a tiny patch of ground and you suddenly realise how vibrant the world is. Curious minds make great scientists and I think the most curious people are children. How do we reach out to children who are next generation scientists who are going to take us forward and identify with those? I think that's really critical and that's all from a young age. I was never stamped on in terms of my passion. Within school and within my family, it was like, okay, it's a little odd, but they let me go for it. And now they're like, well, that's worked out quite well. There's so many careers you can go into with science. People here, I think, but still, can't quite believe they do work here and if you told them when they were a kid they'd be doing this job they wouldn't have believed it so telling people that if they study and they work hard then you know they can do that. Go and approach your local natural history societies, go and approach museums, approach us, you know there's a huge network that we want to encourage the next generation.